reported today in The Verge. TED and YouTube launch global climate initiative. TED and YouTube announced a new climate change initiative called Countdown alongside a coalition of global leaders and non-profit environmental organizations today at an event in New York City. The effort plans to gather new ideas to combat the climate crisis, and is focused on five broad topics, renewable energy, infrastructure, transportation, food, and restoring ecosystems. Anyone, anywhere can propose an idea. YouTube creators will help spread the word, and the best proposals could be put into motion with the help of businesses, policymakers, and and celebrities supporting the initiative. TED head Chris Anderson announced the new project alongside Christiana Figueres, who led the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change during the adoption of the landmark Paris Climate Agreement in 2015. Jimmy Kimmel delivered a video-recorded message at the launch, while former Vice President Al Gore tuned into a live stream of the event. Calling in from Nashville, Tennessee, Gore told the audience at the launch, We as human beings have the ability to rise to this occasion when everything is on the line. Political will is itself a renewable resource. The initiative will culminate in a summit in Bergen, Norway next October to share the solutions that came out of the effort. Countdown will work with a panel of experts and scientists to vet proposals, and the strongest will be turned into TED Talks. The talks will be filmed at the summit in Norway, in front of a hand-picked audience capable of turning those ideas into action, according to a press release. Countdown aims to spur action to cut global greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 and to net zero by 2050, a path that the United Nations International Panel of Scientists have said is necessary to avoid the most catastrophic effects of climate change. This agenda of cutting emissions is absolutely crucial. How has that been going? Anderson asked Figueres at the event. Not very well, Figueres responded. Greenhouse gas emissions are on track to peak again in 2019, according to a study published yesterday. The participation of video heavyweights TED and YouTube is notable, as streaming their product seats up a massive amount of energy. People watch more than a billion hours of YouTube each day, the company announced in 2017. And the amount of greenhouse gas emissions YouTube puts out in a year as a result is about as much as the city of Glasgow, roughly 10 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. One study by researchers at the University of Bristol found. The appetite for streaming video is still growing. Streaming and downloading video online is expected to gobble up 82% of all consumer internet traffic by 2022, according to a Cisco White Paper. That's up from 60% in 2015. When asked by TH for more on this story, visit the news article link.